See the lights on the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. Tell her what TV is in the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. Got a corner on the telephone. Yeah, this is the Ushara the Messenger, and you're watching Talawa TV with the host and best. Today, we take it away. Good evening. Um, I'm back. Is it a good evening? It's a good morning, late afternoon. Guess it all depends on where you're based in the world. Well, my time currently says quarter to 12 a.m. So I'm steadily creeping into my Sunday. Um, happy Easter again for those of you who are celebrating the festive period. Right. So before you guys hammer me, yes, I did say that I wasn't going to do a live stream today but I changed my mind um, this morning maybe around midday I realized that quite a lot of the women's players the reggae girls that is they're back in action with their respective clubs and even even given the fact that quite a few of them if not all must be experiencing some jet lag issues there um, with their traveling traveling from jamaica um, to their respective countries for their clubs even with that little, little bit of fat there um, quite a few of them managed to get some minutes under their belts so with that being said i thought okay makes perfect sense to come back on here and give you some update if you have been following my twitter and my instagram you probably would have known about some of the the, the girls already but i deliberately held back on a few just to make it less repetitive for you guys who follow follow me across all three platforms there um instagram the twitter and the um youtube as well so you guys uh mr Rowan noble uh good evening to you sir thank you thank you very much what's on your dinner menu um i am stuffed with fish i think after monday or maybe after tomorrow i don't want no more fish although they say it's good for you and you guys know by now that i love my seafood so um i think i'll hold off from eating fish for the rest of the month um and then i'll go again maybe next month uh, Mr. Ian Hibbert there. Um, how are you, sir? How's your weekend going? I hope all of your weekends is steady, guys. Also, just to remind you all, I'm doing a special tribute show tomorrow for a lady uh, who goes by the name of Michelle Ballin. Miss Michelle Ballin there, a trailblazer for women's football in Jamaica. So I thought, okay, it is actually her passing anniversary tomorrow as well. So tomorrow is going to be a little bit emotional, a little bit sensitive for me and my special guests. I have something special lined up for you guys tomorrow. That's one of the main reasons why I thought there's no way I could cram all that information um, with regards to how the players have performed for their respective clubs into a tribute show. I don't really think it would feel right. Um, so I've been a little bit proactive and i'm going to try and update you guys as best as i can on tonight's show and then tomorrow we're going to do things a little bit different so do set your um keep your eyes peeled i should say on my community tab my youtube community tab haven't made my mind up yet when i'm going live probably a little bit earlier considering it is a sunday and i will be at home so keep your eyes peeled on the community tab for all the latest there on that special michelle ballin trailblazer interview um so yeah um, that's going to be a good one so guys you guys in the comment section you guys who are watching um just watching and keeping quiet um don't be rude drop a comment in the comment section there let me know you're doing well let me know that you are in good form i'm going to be getting started in a minute uh but before i do so there is something i actually wanted to do with you guys um i'm gonna put for a little early request there so some weeks back i did an interview with mariah gray most of you probably watch this one i think not i think i know this is one of my um favorite interviews one of my best interviews yet uh we spoke about a lot there's so many different layers to uh miss gray's character we spoke about god religion football and also um the player herself so i'm gonna hit that shared screen so you guys can just glance the interview and hopefully in your spare time you guys can do me a favor and go over and watch that interview for me so there it is this one here on the screen you can read it for yourself mariah gray there god 
football and me i might try and see if i can copy the link to that interview and place it in the comment section so you guys can um give this one a watch for me in your spare time like i said it's one of my favorite interviews uh one of the best interviews i think that uh in terms of my channel is one of the best interviews that um, you guys will come across on my channel so do give that one a, a watch there when you can mr blair um how are you um thank you thank you it's been a good happy easter for me so far no complaints i hope you're having a happy easter let me know how your easter is um holding up how you even if you guys are keep talking about easter obviously not all of you are christians and religious um so outside of that let me know how your weekend's holding up mr mills um what's on your dinner men menu mr mills i don't know i'm feeling maybe is it lobster is it something think fancier we're having steak what we're having on your dinner menu tonight mr mills again a happy belated birthday there to your dad um i hope he lives to see many more years and i hope you're treating him to something fancy as well something expensive there um so like i said tonight we're talking about the reggae girls and we're looking back at their weekends of action i usually do my weekend of action show um split between the reggae girls and the reggae boys but since we're on a steady trajectory there where the women's team is concerned i figured let's just keep the focus on the women's team for the time being and once i head into the new week then we can start roping in the men's team as well so some of you in the comment section i know we're up some of you actually asked me to touch on the, the reggae boys. Don't worry, I've not forgotten about them. I've not neglected them. It's just that the reggae girls are um, the main talking point. So today you can see the banner there. Tiffany Cameron fires back and that she fires back for her club. Took her club back to winning ways. And Bonnie, Bonnie and Manchester City head into the FA Women's uh, Cup kind of weird saying the fa women's cup or women's fa cup i think i should say women's fa cup because the other way around sounds a little bit odd so we're going to be touching on um bonnie and uh tiffany cameron looking at what they've done for their club their respect to both players so that is the talking topic there mr ian uh hibbert that is tonight's talking topic. You can see it there. We're going to be focusing on the weekend of action where the reggae girls is concerned. <laughs> In case they didn't know, it is very reggae girls heavy over on this side. So if you're looking for it to be different, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I can't see me changing anytime soon. So yeah, it is very reggae girls heavy. When you step into this, these shores, tread very carefully because there is sharks in the comment section ready to bite off your ankles so be careful what you say about the the reggae girls players my weekend is going well liverpool was great more than great i mean electric start there from liverpool wasn't it so um best of best of luck to your side in the um, fa cup final right then guys let me go and set up my shared screen my shared screen is actually ready to go what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um gonna sound a little bit repetitive for the first maybe first five minutes if that because like i said if you have been keeping an eye on my uh instagram you and my twitter as well then you would already know about some of the uh results and the games for the reggae girls i don't know some people have been pressuring me putting the um pressure on me to talk about the the reggae boys so i sense that maybe one or two people might have gotten a little bit sick and tired of me talking about the reggae girls but sorry um but that's how things are over on this side like i said i don't see me changing anytime soon happy to make a little bit of an um amends here and there but i don't see me changing anytime soon right so let me go and stick on the shared uh screen there Ian hot chili you guys in the comment section i'm not ignoring you i'm just going to remove my banner quickly bring back on that shared screen and we're going to head off to manchester city they were actually the first game tonight this one was played around midday my time you should be able to read that on the screen if in case you don't fancy reading it as it is my job to um, cater to you guys i'll go ahead and do exactly that as you can see there with the scoreline khadija bunny shaw and manchester city both their place in the women FA Cup final after comfortably beating West Ham United 
1941. And here's how it went there. You guys are probably wondering what went on with Bonnie. I know you want to know she on the score sheet. So let's just give you guys a little bit of a proof there. Um, so Ellen White opened the scoring there for Manchester City. And Chloe Kelly doubled the lead there. Lisa Evans there pegged one back for West Ham United. And this is where... West Ham, Manchester City took things a little bit further there with Lauren Hemp extending the lead for to make it Manchester City 3-1. And then here's a little bit of a disappointment for you guys. Um, Bunny, um, she came in there in the 72 minutes. So quite similar to a lot of our girls who have started um, today's weekends of action with their respective clubs. Fortunately, unfortunately, I should say, weren't able to um, register the full 90. It's not rocket science, though, is it? We all know the reason why um, Bunny came on in the 72 minutes, outside of the fact that she usually, unfortunately, um, doesn't start for Manchester City, and that's down to their squad depth and their quality. Let's remind ourselves that Bunny and um, the reggae girls book their place in the CONCACAF Women's Championship. Adding to that, I trust that Jet Lad played a role on this occasion as to why she came on in the 72 minute. And you can see how this one panned out there. Um, again, Lauren Hem with another goal there for Manchester City to make it 4-1. So hopefully, hopefully next weekend we can look and say, well, Bunny is starting or if on, the, on that occasion, even if she doesn't start, hopefully she gets her name uh, on the score sheet as she regularly does. But on this occasion, I think maybe jet lag might have gotten the better of Bunny. Let me take a quick pause to see what you guys are saying in the comment section. <laughs> my bro how are you how are you mr formula hope you guys you guys must be familiar with this name if you're not familiar with this name you will be um as things go on particularly if you keep an eye peeled your eyes peeled on my channel you definitely will be familiar with formula sports um in the near future the very near near future if you are familiar to formula sports and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet I'm not really sure what you're waiting on so please do go ahead and head over to formula sports as it's spelled there on the screen and go ahead and kindly hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button on his latest latest video the best women team in England, some would say. I mean, you can't argue. Well, you can't argue. There's arguments there. Throw Arsenal and Chelsea into the hat and you've got a really ripe conversation. But yeah, exactly. Um, not many will disagree with you there, Hot Chile. Manchester City, no doubt, one of the best women's football team in England. Miss Rochelle Brown, good evening to you. How are you? How's your weekend shaping up? What's in store for your Sunday? Um, so that's how things is looking uh, where where Bunny is concerned. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of pre-warning there that in terms of minutes accumulated there for the uh, reggae girls, it was pretty much more of the same. Much of the girls uh, up until this point unable to register um, the full 90 into their tank there. And it is, like I said, for obvious reasons. I'm going to put this one down to being jet lag. Can't be easy traveling from Jamaica and going all over the, the world. I know when I go back home to Jamaica from London, I am absolutely jet lag. So if any one of you, you guys have uh, managed to travel for an extended length of time, where you don't have a lot of leg room, you should definitely be familiar to jet lag and what it does to your body. Right, so let me go back over and um, remove Rochelle's comment temporarily. And I'm going to go over to Victoria. We're going to go over to Victoria. And I don't mean Victoria in London, for those of you who are sitting there and wondering. Let me not confuse you. I'm actually going to Hungary. I'm going to go over to Hungary. I'm going to close that tab there where Manchester City is concerned, pop back up my tab, and I'm heading over to Hungary. Why am I in Hungary? Well, I'm here to see Victoria FC. Chaboza, you know about Victoria, and that is the club belonging to Marlo Sweatman. You can pretty much read this one for yourself, can't you? But what I'm going to do is drop down that menu for you just a little bit, and it should be quite a pleasing reading there let's have a little bit of a backtrack let's just revert 
backstep um, quite briefly there just before we headed into the international women's uh, break there. We had a little reggae girls matchup. Victoria there for Marla Sweatman and Eto FC for Tiffany Cameron. And on that occasion, it was Victoria that walked away with maximum points, beating Tiffany Cameron. Alika Keane wasn't involved in that particular match, and that was due to illness. This one was played on the 2nd of April. Fast forward to today's game. Um, more importantly, this one was played um, earlier on in the day. I think maybe, I think it may be around 4 p.m. My time, 4 p.m. Um, UK time, if I'm not mistaken. So on this occasion, um, it was Marlo Sweatman again. Marlo Sweatman and Victoria continued their winning spree, their winning momentum there. And as you can see, they produced a 2-0 victory over MTK in the Hungarian top division. And I'm going to make it a little bit more pleasing on the eye for you guys. Going to hit that table there. And as you can see, they are just three points shy of knocking MTK, their opponents, of the... Top spot, obviously, it all depends on how MTK uh, play in their next match. Hopefully, they lose and Victoria can just push them out of the third spot there. And it should be, if all goes according to plan, that is, um, and Victoria win their next match. Um, we should be able to see uh, Victoria there and Marlon Sweatman bridge get a little bit closer to Tiffany Cameron and Alika Keynes at FC. They're currently sat in the second position there in the Hungarian top division. So as things stand, we've got Tiffany Cameron and Alika Keen with Eto FC sitting in second place, sitting on 31 points. And not too far away from them is Marlo Sweatman sitting in fourth place temporarily let's say temporarily there sometimes we have to speak things into existence currently sitting on 23 points let me see what you guys are saying in the comments section I'll take this off a little bit i want to see if i can just um communicate effectively well with you guys <laughs> I hate the sound of my voice. That's why I never ever watch back my um my I don't even watch back my interviews. I don't watch nothing what I um put out. Any content that goes out, that's it. Really like the sound of my own voice. But who does? Um L O L 92. I think I have seen you. I think you might support Liverpool if I'm not mistaken. Apologies if I got that one wrong. Um, I do apologize. How is your uh weekend treating you? Hot chili. Why are you hungry? Have you have you not been fed today? Did your team not feed you today, hot chili? I don't know. I'm asking you because I don't know the results myself. But if you're saying you're hungry, I trust that you was probably starved a little bit there. Maybe starved starve for goals, perhaps. I don't know, hot chili. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just asking a few polite questions. So let me know why it is that you're um, starving as things <laughs> as things stand yeah absolutely right you're definitely right there now we're in hungary so we're gonna take a little plane and head to sweden very briefly and you guys know why i'm heading to sweden don't you of course you do i'm heading to sweden because i want to actually see chinilu asha so let's go to sweden and if the if i could actually get up the appropriate result there for you guys sometimes these things okay google sometimes google like to play about guys um it's not always on its best behavior so we can see in case you're wondering just a little bit of a brief reminder there um ike football dumb that's the team belonging to chinalu asha a uh, little bit of an unfortunate reading there in terms of the, the score line you can see there that they were beaten three nil by their opponent but let's remind ourselves that their opponent is sitting at the top of the table for the time being hopefully it doesn't stay that um, that way for the duration of the season more importantly you guys are wondering what's going on with chinalu asha despite of that three nil defeat well if we scroll down and look at the substitution there we should be able to see what you guys are searching for you definitely should be able to see it um, on your screen apologies if it isn't as large as you would like it to be but you can see there in the 57th minute chinalu asher registered 57 minutes as ike football dumb fell to a 
three nail defeat there against their opponent. And that is over in the Swedish top division there. If we take a moment, I should say I should take a moment and look at what you guys are saying in the comment section. One done, MUFC45. I can't read what you've written there in the comment section. Um Definitely can't read what you read what you wrote in the comment section. I wonder why I can't read it. Miss Joan Spence, how are you, lady? How's your weekend going? What's on the dinner menu? I might um invite myself over and um dish myself out a plate, especially if it's fish that's on your uh dinner menu. Coach Karumi, big up to yourself, Coach Karumi. I can't read that, Coach. I don't know what that says. I'm assuming you're referring to the Arsenal women's team. They're playing tomorrow, so we're going to dive into that a little bit later on. Do they have a men's team? I don't know if they have a men's team, but I know nothing about their men's team. Um, but but if we're talking about the women's team, they have a game tomorrow, so we can touch on that later on. Miss Malik, Mr. Malik Mills, Malik you are eating one of my favorite um, foods there, ribs. I make a good rack of ribs in case you guys are wondering. Um, and I haven't made it in a while, but I do um, love making ribs. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't know what you guys are referring to there in the comment section. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger, guys. Um <laughs> Can't have you guys come over here and um, banter my team. All right. So there's another team here that I want to um, update you guys on. I didn't actually do it on my Instagram earlier on. So please allow me to see if I can bring up their um, their information. Hopefully, everything is um, rock steady over on um, Perfect. It is. Let's just see something here, um, guys. I'm going to see if I can bring this one up for you all. Um, bear with me. See if I can do a quick connection. Um, okay. Right, so um trying to give you guys a little bit of um player update there. Um, I must see there's a little bit of bad vibes in the comment section there. I don't know what's going on tonight, but there's a couple couple bad vibes. There aren't usually bad vibes in my comment section, but for some reason, um a bit of a bad vibes there. Um good thing I can't read what they're saying. Maybe you guys can read it, but I sure I sure can't read it. Um Okay, so let me go ahead and turn on my shared screen once more for you guys. I think this one will be a little bit pleasing on the air there, given that we've been out the loop, kept out the loop there um, for this particular player. On this occasion, we're talking about Shoshana Campbell, and she played the first half there for um medic conan there. So it's this team over here on the right, and they actually were um they produced, I should say. Um, or shared the points, my apologies there, shared the points with their um, opponents, Budgosh, there in the Polish top division. Um, extra La Liga there, if you're wondering what division that one is in. So we had Sashana Campbell playing in Poland there for her team. And like I said, quite similar to Bunny and also Tiffany, unfortunately and um uh, chinalu asher as well jet lag definitely getting the better of our players um quite similar to her teammates there Sashana campbell wrapped up her minutes in the first 45 positive news is that at least they're getting minutes under their belt um okay so let's take off this shared screen let's see where do we want to go based off my notes it's off my notes here um I think we should probably see if we can go up to actually okay let's stay in the just go to the uk go back to the uk right big match tomorrow huge match we already know that bunny shaw there and manchester city are through to their final um for the fa women's cup or the women's fa cup 
she could potentially be joined by another reggae girl there and see if i can turn on my share screen again big showdown tomorrow in the london derby 12 30 kickoff here if you're based in london i'm six hours ahead of you if you're based in jamaica so if you fancy tuning into this one then there is your time do your maths and set your alarm this one kicking off at 12 30 p.m and it is like i said for the fa women's cup and it is a semi-final so either arsenal or drew spence and chelsea will be heading to the final you know who i want to win this one and it is so weird saying that but um this is going to be a showdown there a london derby one ticket remaining to the final are we going to have a reggae girl final there um bunny is already there could drew spence be um, joining her um very likely that that will be the case so let's keep an eye on this particular match tomorrow and if we go to i hope you guys can still see that by the way i didn't check yes you can if we go to scotland there uh, we all know who scott who plays up in scotland the players we play in scotland i need to break out of the habit of saying up in scotland because you guys are not all in the uk with me so let's just say scotland we all know who plays in scotland and it will be um kayla mccoy and chantel swaby be interesting to see how Chantal Swaby looks, given that she went off there in our last game against Dominican Republic. Um, be interesting to see if Kayla McCoy can um, put her name on the score sheet. She usually does. So this one will be a 4 p.m. kickoff tomorrow. 4 p.m. UK, that is. So you can um, check, check this one out. And it is the Scottish Women's Premier League. So it's a league match there tomorrow. Now, if we cross over and bring ourselves back down to bring ourselves to England, need to not say back down to England as well, bring ourselves to England, we will see uh, Blackburn, Ray, Blackburn Rovers and Charlton Athletic. Um, sometimes you have to double check that this is the women's team. Yes, it is the women's team. Blackburn Rovers hosting Charlton Athletic and we all know who Charlton Athletic belongs to. It is the club belonging to none other than Vianne Sampson. So they're not playing this weekend, but you can catch them next weekend um, on Sunday. So I'm a week away, exactly a week away, Sunday the 24th. And this is a lunchtime kickoff for those of you who are wondering. If we cast our eyes on another team, and that team will be Bunny versus Paige Bailey Gale and Leicester City. So a regular girl showdown awaits us um, next weekend there. Um, Time-wise, we're looking at 2 p.m. kickoff if you're based in the UK. Manchester City taking on Leicester City. This should be a, a proper, proper game um and if we look at a few more games there for you guys to um wait to uh watch in the next couple of um days or so so this one if we do a little refresh here you can see bristol city there and um you guys definitely know who bristol city uh belongs to and you can if i can click the name for you probably not going to show it um where um maury's concerned obviously we know that she lost out against um jade bailey's liverpool jade bailey's liverpool are the champions of their um women's championship there in england and that was a reminder just a reminder of how the game panned out and if we go down and look at the starting 11, I um, should be able to give you guys the name that you're um, looking for. If I can find it. There she is, guys. Satara Murray there for Bristol City. So their game, uh, their next game is actually today. Today being in Sunday because I'm already into my Sunday. And they're taking on Coventry United. Now, if I just go back just a little bit, click on Liverpool so we can look at who Liverpool have. Liverpool, if we scroll down, they are playing their next game on the 24th of April. Um, and that will be a 2 p.m. kickoff if you're based in the UK. And they are hosting Sheffield, Sheffield United there. Um, I do have a few more updates for you guys um, in case you guys are wondering 
few player updates there for you guys. But let me just take a quick little pause. It's almost half an hour. It's amazing how time flies um, with these live stream. What are you guys saying in the comment section? One of them getting <laughs> fighting talk, right? You're in the mood for some fighting talk. I'm not going to get involved with that. For me, it is a win-win, and you guys know why it's a win-win. So um, I'm good where that is concerned. Chelsea, we want to win, so the two reggae girls should be in the final. That's, that's from Taja Scott there. Definitely no. Um, he's going to be well, probably wearing a half and half scarf when the final comes. If it is Manchester City versus um, Chelsea, if I go back over and put on my banner, you guys can see my banner for tonight's show. We're talking about the Reggae Girls and just going through their um, weekend of action review. There, um, Tiffany Cameron helping Eto FC to return to winning ways. They open the scoring for Eto FC over in Hungary in the top division in Hungary. And Bunny also uh, wrapped up some minutes under her belt. Bunny and Manchester City are heading to the FA Cup Women's Final or the Women's FA Cup Final, whichever one sounds more pleasing to you guys. Um, so that's how that one there is looking. Um. Mr. Mills, I am not getting into that to attack that type of dealings with you, sir. Um, we all saw what happened last night um, on the show, and you actually you didn't stick to your to your um, what I want to call it now. You didn't stick to your. You're not. I don't want to say you're not a man of your words because you are, but you didn't stick to the agreement there. I think Hot Chili might have put something on the table for you and. Um, you seem to have run away from it. I don't know why that is, but you clearly um ran away from your part of the agreement last night. So, with that being said, I don't think I'm going to be um, making any deals with you there, Mr. Mills. You're saying it's on the tab. Okay, you guys, um, you guys have his word there right in black and white. He says it's on the tab. So, when I'm ready to cash in, I'm going to... um do exactly that right i think it's time for us to head across the pond i'm gonna go across the pond quite briefly there guys and we're going to be looking at who of the um few more of the reggae girls with their um cup competition who's the first one that's on my list i think the first play on my list is um uh, miss sydney schneider there so that should be kansas city current and their game was um played yesterday so this should actually this is saying yesterday so it would actually be today for you guys um as i'm a couple of hours ahead of you all so let's go back and turn on that shared screen there and let's find my tab where is my sydney schneider there we go right sydney schneider there um kansas city current there belonging to sydney schneider and you can see that it's the challenge cup um, that's taking place at present and if we scroll down i know you guys are only interested in one thing only yes her team did win 2-1 against houston dash you guys are interested was she in goal a little bit of a bad news to tell you guys that unfortunately she wasn't but she was placed on the bench let's remind ourselves that she is relatively new to kansas city uh so it will take a time it will take time time, patience, and opportunity to become the number one goalkeeper there for her club. And I'm sure she has it in her locker to do exactly that. But things are a little bit different for goalkeepers. They're not, um, opportunities don't come uh, as frequently as it would for the outfield players. So let's be a little bit patient there with uh, Sydney Schneider. And since we're talking about the Challenge Cup, it's only right to go and talk about Angel City. And we all know who Angel City belongs to, don't we? Just in case you guys are probably um, forgotten. I don't know, probably having too much um, enjoying yourself over the um, Easter festivities there. So you probably have slipped your memory. But Angel City is the club belonging to none other than 
Alison Swaby. And as you can see there, they've got their game coming up today. Today being Sunday for me, guys. So tomorrow for you guys. And that one is kicking off at 11 p.m. UK time. Again, if you are based in Jamaica, I am six hours ahead of you. So kindly go ahead and do the math. And then further on, guys, um, in a few weeks' time, if I could check my calendar, just give me a brief moment to check my calendar. I will be giving you guys some updates um, as the season goes for who are my players. I'll be giving you guys updates on um, Yasmin Jameson there for County Rovers, and we know they play in Canada. And also um, Courtney Douglas, both players play in Canada. Um and if I look at my sheet here, let's see if I could see the exact date. They're kicking things off on the 24th of this month. So 24th of, it should be next week. It should be next week. I should be able to give you guys some updates there. Um, where both teams are, where both players are concerned, both players playing for separate clubs. So as of next week, I'm just checking my database there, guys. As of next week, I'll be able to dive into some um, women's football over in Canada for Yasmin Jameson and also for Courtney Douglas as well. If I scroll down on my um, database, sorry if I'm looking off screen just a little bit just trying to um get up my database yes i did um it's very kind of a little bit silly of me i did touch on alika keen earlier on with regards to eto fc eto fc um club belonging to alika keen and tiffany cameron unfortunately um I feel like I didn't read out Tiffany Cameron. Did I talk about Tiffany Cameron, guys? I don't think I, I spoke about Tiffany Cameron. Apologies there if I didn't. Um, let's actually go back and have a bit of manners. Um, don't think I spoke about Tiffany Cameron. So if I did talk about Tiffany Cameron, I apologize. My memory is telling me that I didn't. I don't feel like I did. So I'm going to go back over and talk about Tiffany Cameron's Eto FC. As you can see there, they're cemented right in the uh, second place there. And um, Tiffany netted the opener. If I can click on their game, hopefully it does show. Yes, it does. 3-0, they beat um, Astra Hungary 3-0 in the top division in Hungary. And it was Tiffany Cameron who opened the scoring. Um, good to see Tiffany there um, back again starting for her team a little bit unfortunate uh, it was only for 55 minutes i say a little bit unfortunate because i'm a little bit greedy when it comes to minutes for the women's team but quite similar to her teammates there um getting a full 90 in the tank not possible on that occasion given that they've been traveling from jamaica to their respective countries and whilst we're talking about tiffany cameron and eto fc it's only right to talk about uh alika keen as well she's steadily steadily on the road to a successful recovery and we know that recently um unfortunately she caught covid so she's on a steady path of recovery hopefully we can see her for next week's um showdown there where her team is concerned alongside her compatriot uh tiffany cameron so i'll keep you guys posted on that i don't think i did um touch on tiffany's performance um uh, min minutes in the bag and the fact that they beat, they defeated FC, defeated Austria Hungary 3 0. So I felt like I needed to backtrack. Saw so someone talk about uh, Marlo Sweatman. I'm almost certain there are no memory. Well, my memory is not fooling me on that occasion. Certain that I um, touched on Marlo Sweatman. But someone just commented in the comments section about Marlo Sweatman. So we can look at Victoria briefly just to keep my people in the comment section happy you can see that victoria defeated victoria is the club belonging to marlo sweatman they secured a neat two nil victory and that is them keeping their winning momentum going and some pleasing news there for you guys that marlo um managed to wrap up for 90 under her belt so um she's definitely something else isn't she um jet lag and still managing to wrap up 90 minutes that's definitely not an easy task right so if i go down it's all 39 minutes how am i been speaking for 39 minutes beats me 
Uh, let's see what else we need to talk about. Um, already touched on Courtney Douglas. Um, also, Tina Wiltshire, guys. Um, some news there for Tina Wiltshire. If I can bring up my banner, she's currently have to be a little bit patient here with Tina Wiltshire. She's currently um seeking a club there, exploring her options where her club um club career is concerned. So something should be sorted um as soon as possible. And when those um final details go through and the pen has been put to the paper, I will keep you guys uh updated. So at the moment she's currently uh unattached but she is working behind the scenes um with her people exploring her options before she puts pen to paper. So I'm going to be giving you guys some more updates there where Wiltshire is concerned. And I think that is probably it, guys. I think that is probably it. I am doing well, Mr. Ravi. I'm doing well. I know you're doing perhaps better than me, um, given how your football team has performed. Um, well done to yourself. Let me start off by saying well done. Good weekend of football. Definitely good weekend of football if you support your team, that is. Um IP IT push. I touched on Marlo Sweatman. Um, yes, so it was your comment. I took a quick glance and saw someone mentioned Marlo Sweatman. So uh there you go, guys. Um, we can probably round this one off to an hour. Why not? Round this one off to an hour with you guys. Tomorrow we're doing something special. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're talking about Miss Michelle Ballin a trailblazer for women's football in Jamaica who is unfortunately no longer with us. So tomorrow is going to be a special show um, and it's going to be a warm conversation, possibly a little bit emotional as well for obvious reasons. So we're doing things a little bit delicate um, tomorrow with regards to the subject matter, looking at Miss Michelle Ballin there and the role, the role that uh, Miss Ballin played in the growth and the development of women's football in Jamaica. Safe to say she's no doubt a trailblazer. So I'm going to be looking, I'm interested. If you ask me, what do I know about Miss um, Balin? I'll say I know just as much as you. So tomorrow will be a lesson. So I hope you guys won't be late to class. We've got actually, actually says he's wearing black. Um, go ahead, bring out your black armbands tomorrow, guys. Because um, tomorrow we're definitely playing um, homage to a legend of our game and i know it's going to be a special one like i said if you guys have not watched my mariah gray interview um as of yet i trust it's because you guys are busy and nothing else do go ahead and um find that interview on my channel there it is there's the link try and get that one to 500 likes um not 500 likes 500 views um because i do think that that um interview revealed so many different layers there for um mariah gray and it's well worth a watch like i said it is one of my favorite interviews uh, one of my best work so i obviously want you all to see it so do go ahead and um watch that one when you um see fit let's scroll down and see what the rest of you guys are saying in this comment section um okay let's see <laughs> oh you was asking me if you should wear black um why not why not wear what you're comfortable with actually wear what you are comfortable with anything that you're comfortable with the only thing that matters is that you are here and you are you give the channel the necessary support so let me go ahead and touch on that interview that i was talking about there where mariah mariah gray is concerned take off that banner so you guys can see it so if you go ahead and look this is the one that i'm talking about guys let's see if we can hit 500 views for this one and get um the word out there get more people watching this particular interview as you can see they should be able to read this one for yourself mariah gray god of football and me fascinating interview um and it's not because i was the one that did it it's because there's so many different layers to mariah's um personality and character um well that is the only arsenal that i support i wasn't aware that there was another arsenal but it's that's good to know but yeah that is the arsenal that i support 
Liverpool will win all the trophies um, on offering 2020-2022. Club manage the players well. Can't argue with that, can you? You know, I thought that this one was from Hot Chili. I thought Hot Chili was trying to mock me. Um, sorry there, Rochelle. Um, I thought it was Hot Chili that's trying to mock me in the comment section. Yes, I do. Yes, I do support them. Who do you support? Um, and sorry if I'm being repetitive. Um, sorry if I'm being repetitive. Who do you support? I don't know if I actually asked you that already. So, guys, um, I've got about, say, 15 more minutes with you. And then I'm going to have to um, close off on this one. Um, let's see my notes. Man City. Oh, God, why did I ask? Actually, I don't have a problem with Manchester City. So I take it as Manchester City men and Manchester City women. I, I definitely can't speak to you then. Your talk is definitely bigger than my talk, that's for sure most certainly where your men's team is concerned. I'm glad I know, glad I know who you support because you've got the bragging rights at the moment. So I need to watch myself when it comes to you and your team. So that's Hot Chili and Rochelle, both Manchester City supporters, um, guys. So don't say nothing bad about Manchester City when Rochelle and Hot Chili are around because you might just get... Um, ganged upon and i can't save you if that's the case let's see <laughs> i didn't even see your comment um malik i didn't see your comments to be honest with you it depends on what you're saying because i can't read your comment i don't know what they said i say ravi or uh, sorry i don't know what this what the second word says I just see Ravi R. Sorry. I don't know what that's all about. But it's nice to see that I've got some mixed um, mix set of supporters in the comment section. Some of you supporting Manchester City. I know there's a few Manchester United fans about um, Chelsea as well. And um, Arsenal is there as well. So good bit of um, variety from you guys. Um, so like I said, I'm going to round this one off to one hour exact. And then I'm going to um, close off until tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be a special show. So do keep your eyes out on my YouTube community tab. That's going to be a real special show. And I don't want you guys to miss it. So do keep your eyes peeled on the community tab. Um. Let's see. What do you guys have planned for the rest of your weekend? I know if you guys are based in, uh, what's the country I'm thinking of? Canada. If you're based in the in Canada, then you definitely have a long weekend like myself. Um, you would have a long weekend like myself. So with bank, ol bank holiday Monday. I think you guys, you guys in Jamaica have a, have a bank holiday on Monday or is it just back to normal for you? Let me know in the comments section. So over, um, call it 12 minutes to go until I um, close off on this live stream. This is probably the quickest, definitely the quickest live stream I've done um, in the last maybe two, two weeks, I think, if that. Um, but definitely one of my quickest live streams in comparison to the last couple of live streams. Um, let me know how you guys want me to do to share um, the updates um, going forward. Do you want me to go back to normal? Do you guys want me to go ahead and chop things up and also combine the reggae boys as well? I usually combine the the reggae boys. Um, not the reggae, yeah, yeah, the reggae boys um, along with the reggae girls. But on this occasion, I'm going to be leaving the boys for during the week um, for their uh, updates, their match updates. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's good. So it's only America then. That's the odd one out. That's a shame. That's great. Well, hope you guys enjoy your Easter Monday if I don't see you on here. I don't know if I'm going to be, I'm going to, I think I should stop saying when I'm going to be back and when I'm not going to be back and just show up because I did say I wasn't going to come back on here last night. 
and then here I am. So, Hope, Palm, Rochelle, and all the guys based in Jamaica, enjoy your uh, Easter Monday when it comes. Mr. Everton Jackson is saying that missing is her reggae girls already. You're missing them already. Uh, they do have the feel good factor, so I can see why you're missing them. <laughs> I like that. Is that your way of getting rid of me, IT Push? I thought we were friends. I didn't realize that we weren't friends. And also, you guys have given me heaps of support over the last couple of um, streams. I'm just looking back at my analytics here, and you guys have been supporting me steadily um, for the last two. Oh, wow. You've been supporting me for the last, call it a month, one solid month, and you guys have not dropped the ball. So um, thank, thank you guys for that. For those of you who are always here week in, week out, um, Thank you guys for your show of support. I've got to just, just, just uh, call it 10 minutes remaining with you guys. And then I'm going to um, close off. IT is telling me to actually close off and see if I can get a record in. <laughs> Let me bring it back up. That does look like a, you got a good eye. Formula, you have some good eye because even I didn't see that. Mel Malik is saying that he is, I don't know if I can hold Malik to his words here, guys. He's saying he'll be the host of the show every Saturday. I don't know if I can hold him to his words, guys. He's a Chelsea fan, so you know what they're like. Don't know if we can, don't know if how trustable the Chelsea fans are there in the comment section. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Balin. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going in about nine minutes. I've got nine more minutes and then I'm going. Definitely. <laughs> mind them here, you know, Mr. Everton Jackson. Be careful. Mind mind they hear what you're saying. Um now formula's got me formula's got me feeling for some cheesecake. No, it's like early in the morning. It's um, 138, not 138, 12.38 in the morning and I'm feeling for a bit of cheesecake. I don't have any, so I won't be eating no cheesecake tonight. Um, can, you are wrong. Can anyone guess what it is? It does look like cheesecake. You're telling us that's not cheese. What is that? Something that's got whipped cream on top. What is that? It does look like cheesecake, so formula, you were wrong and I was wrong. I don't know if the guys want to guess what was on screen. Then if you guys can see that in the little corner, IT pushes logo, it does look like um, cheesecake. <laughs> Malik is saying he's the one Chelsea fan that can be trusted. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think you're being outnumbered by the... Um, by the City fans, I think you're being outnumbered by the city fans there, Malik. So what is it? It definitely has whipped cream on it. What is it? Whipped cream, what could that be? What cake do they put? I don't know what it is. I... What is it? I don't know. You guys are going to have to help me out there before I close off on my live stream. I can't tell what type of cake that is. I don't have a clue. You might have to tell us there, um, IT. Um, I'm sure Formula don't know what it is. Rory's here. Oh, Roy, my apologies, Mr. Roy Clark. Well, I have to watch my words when I talk about Chelsea then, since there's so many of you just popping up here and there. Didn't realise there were strengths in numbers where the blue half of London is concerned. So I'll tread carefully next time. I already know I have to watch myself when it comes to Manchester City because of Miss Michelle Brown there and also Hot Chili. Now it looks like I have to do the same when it comes to Chelsea. Okay, I know where I stand. It has whipped cream. I can tell that it has whipped cream, but I just can't tell what's the base, what's, what's 
what's under it i don't know what's what's under it um next saturday we will talk about chelsea and the reggae girls um okay he's being outnumbered just like how chelsea is outnumbered oh okay fighting talk see now i'm, I'm gonna leave you and miss rochelle brown to do your thing for your club guys chelsea fans okay don't shoot the messenger i'm not involved in this comment so if you guys want to deal with hot chili in the comment section handle your business and support your team i'm not picking no side be interesting to see before i go who do you guys think is um winning the league obviously it's between man city and liverpool isn't it who you guys think is winning the the premier league i still can't call it personally um i still can't call it let me know what, who you guys think is um going to be lifting the, the premier league trophy well surprise surprise hot chilies is going with manchester city what a surprise eh okay two for manchester city you guys don't think liverpool are gonna win the league all right it push is going for liverpool rochelle is going for manchester city of course she is that's her team as expected um your bias i'm biased when it comes to my team as well so we're in the same boat definitely in the same boat also um last night you guys voted for in in favor of a um call-in show what's up call-in show so i'm going to i'm going to have to um sort out the equipment for that i'm hope i'm hoping i can get it done as a matter of urgency um hopefully i should be able to have it done in time for the next reggae girls um games might use that as my target actually so we know we go again in july so yeah by july we should be up and running with um whatsapp calls there you guys say you want some whatsapp calls so summer should be looking good for all of us okay mr formula sport is saying city will edge it roy i'm, I'm with roy at the moment guys roy is roy i'm, I'm with roy roy said it's still a toss-up i 100 agree with him 100 agree with him i'm actually saying i don't make promises <laughs> That's cream pie. I've never had a cream pie before. I feel like that's more like an American thing. I don't think I've ever come across a cream pie. Let's see what that looks like. Cream pie. So what's the base of a cream pie then? Cream pie. Oh, okay. I've never had a cream pie. I feel like that's more American. You guys in the comment section, have you guys ever had a cream pie? I've never. i tell you what I could have. I could have a black forest cake. I can definitely have a black forest cake now. Um, I'll definitely take a black forest cake. If I could find one, that would be great. But no, I can't. Um, yeah, guys in the comment section, you guys ever had a, what's he calling it? Cream pie it push so that's the that's the photo there for his display picture um formula since he was wondering so guys i've got my final um two minutes there <laughs> i don't know what it looks like i don't know what it, i don't know what it um what's inside it i mean i don't know the um the main ingredient the base but i could tell that it has whipped cream on top apple pie apple pie is all right i'm more of a sweet um sweet potato pudding lover or a black black forest cake but apple pie is okay it's not really my favorite but it's okay um so guys i'm into my final minute with you lot um this one has come quick definitely come quick but i hope i can see you all here tomorrow possibly a little bit earlier than usual 
<laughs> never had a can't even tell you i tea push you're gonna have to um let us know how good it tastes must taste good from you have it as your um your display picture definitely must taste good <laughs> mcdonald's apple pie with some ice cream that's that's all right i tell you what tastes nice with ice cream as well um fried plantain but make sure it's sweet when the plantain you know when the skin's looking black and you fry it the sweet the sweet version with some vanilla ice cream that tastes beautiful so you guys can um test that one out uh we are actually that's it guys um we've approached the uh the end of our um live stream and cheesecake you guys are talking red velvet oh my gosh how can i forget about the red velvet yes it is beautiful black forest oh formula you've got a sweet tooth i like your sweet tooth yeah i like that no no malik no see what see what i mean about these chelsea fans guys you see what i mean about these chelsea fans no malik definitely no that's an expensive bit of cake, um, red velvet cake, regardless of whichever country you're in. I think I feel like every country that that, that piece of cake is expensive. Um, that was actually my cake for my last birthday. So I love um, red velvet cake as well. Black forest cake, you can't knock black forest cake. Beautiful, beautiful cake. Um, a cream. I love how you guys love to go off topic and I just run and follow you. Um, it's nice and we can just change the change the channel <laughs> change the topic of the conversation <laughs> oh not here in the usa really i'm surprised you say you guys usually get your food on point um usually the go-to when it comes to um food that tastes good all right guys so i have approached the end of my live stream just a gentle reminder um join me on here tomorrow where we'll be doing a special tribute for miss michelle ballin there a trailblazer for women's football where jamaica is concerned it's going to be a fantastic watch along um not watch along a fantastic interview i should say i'm going to be in the driving seat and i do think i'm going to try my best to um, do a good job for you guys it's also going to be a learning session because i don't know much about uh, miss michelle ballin other than the fact that she's a trailblazer but i'm sure she has plenty of layers to her character also know that she played football with the boys um given um uh, her age and the time of her upbringing i'm not surprised that that is the case at all and i'm also expecting that she would be better than better football player than the men that she played with so i'm looking forward to that one don't know if you guys have anything there in the comment section who's that is that me what did i do now what is it what have i done now let's go back and look at a few of the comments this one has gone over my head it push this one has flied over my head this one flew over my head i should say fly on my making up name making up words this one's flew over my head No, I, I don't know what you're talking about with this one. This one's gone way over my head. Think. Don't think you guys have anything left to say in the comments section. So this one was a little bit um soft and easy there. Nice update there for you guys where the reggae girls is concerned. Um, if you haven't hit the like button already, please do go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, so you can keep up to date. And I love the fact that whenever I go live, you guys are always here as well. So I don't know if you guys have hit the notification button um, as of yet, but please do go and um, hit the <laughs> notification. Yeah, fluid. <laughs> fluid formulae. We can start our own dictionary over here, you know, guys. Um, isn't that how a dictionary started? I don't know you guys be the judge of that so yeah we can have fluid to the um flied what did i say i said flied right not fluid i said flied 
um, I should have said flu. Um, but yeah, we can we can add fly to the um, dictionary if it makes you guys happy. And any other word that I managed to butcher on my live stream, we can definitely go and chuck that into our um, dictionary. <laughs> They're a mess, J. Ross. They're an absolute mess in in the in the comment section. <laughs> in the dictionary. It's gonna have me some interesting words there in that dictionary. I can tell you that. Smash the like button, like how many times cities? Wow, you see, the city fans are high and mighty. We've got Rochelle. Oh, the Rochelle is calmer. Rochelle is the calm one, guys, for the Manchester City. So Rochelle is calm, and we don't know that um, Hot Chili is just high and mighty, and he has every right to be, to be high and mighty because his team is exactly that. Um, a superior team in comparison to the rest of the league and other teams elsewhere um, across the globe as well. Um, big up to yourself there, J. Ross. <laughs> no, you know, we have a little tendency to like just go off track a little bit and um, talk about different stuff. So I've done my wrap, my wrap up, my reggae girls roundup. Uh, for the week so far. A couple more games taking place uh, tomorrow. And so I'll try and see if I can give you guys an update. But tomorrow, like I said, is going to be the tribute show. So I might not touch on any other thing but that. Any other topic, I should say. And then, like I said, during the week, we can go back to talking about the reggae boys. I don't want to chase you guys away from the channel. You guys keep saying you want to know about the reggae boys. So we're going to revert back to um, talking about the reggae boys as well. If I do not see you guys tomorrow, I do hope that you have a splendid Sunday. Um, put your feet up. Enjoy the long weekend. Also, have a happy bank holiday Monday. Enjoy your Easter Sunday. Um, even if you're not religious, do go ahead and have a smashing Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is it is it is it definitely is it is exactly like that they have all rights to be hyped manchester city fans have all rights to be hyped i can't begrudge them they definitely have all rights to be hyped <laughs> i'm not gonna let you not turn my channel into a dessert um conversation you know nobody has troubled tiffany cameron tiffany cameron is all good tiffany cameron fires back in terms of her shooting boats um she's firing with her shooting boats there where her club is concerned um eto fc in the top division in hungary so j ross is going for i like cheesecake apple pie red velvet yes red velvet and black forest now you are talking my language cheesecake is i'm not supposed to be touching cheese and all of that so i'm supposed to be staying even bun and cheese i shouldn't even be eating cheese but yeah um it's not going to stop me what happened next completely out of my control but you know if i have to have my cheese i'm gonna have my cheese pick up yourself mr dre anyweather sports guys if you're not familiar to dre anyweather sports please do go ahead and type in this name dre anyweather sports on social media particularly instagram and um youtube and do go ahead and hit the follow button on instagram and more importantly hit the subscribe button over on youtube and you know the drill also go ahead and hit the like button on his latest content very knowledgeable when it comes to um jamaican uh football across the board also for the women's team and the men's team so that's someone that's worth keeping close keeping him close by let's see what you guys are saying in the comment section you guys really did turn the last half of my show into a um dessert conversation <laughs> i don't i can't read what you're saying uh malik if you guys have just tuned in sorry to tell you but this one we're keeping it nice and short i've already gone over the hour as it always is the case with you guys so um 
make up all the guys in the comment section i don't i can't possibly name all of you i think i've only noticed just two other women in the comment section um joan and rochelle so a special big up to you guys um hope you have a blessed weekend and for the rest of the guys as well can't name you all because obviously you're you're outnumbering the women on this occasion unfortunately but big ups to you guys in the comment section hope you all have a fabulous sunday when it comes i will be seeing you guys on here tomorrow again um <laughs> it's all right i don't mind drifting off you know i don't mind drifting off and talking about something completely unplanned um and i have a little bit of a sweet tooth as well so no need to apologize so definitely enjoyed that chat at least now you know we all know what each other's favorite cake is when we meet up in person we know what to buy for each other so guys i'm going to be back on here tomorrow keep an eye on the comment set not the comment section the, the tab community I don't know if you guys are familiar with um youtube community tab keep an eye on the tab community there and uh or better yet let's make it easy for yourself go ahead and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified whenever i go live so you can join me you can always join me malik is asked malik is asking is mitchell is mr richard stevens okay all is well um I heard from him around midday today, so all is well. Let's see if I've got anything here from um, Mr. Richard Stevens. I trust that he's in good health. Last time I heard from him, I scrolled down. Not heard nothing from him since. Not nothing from him since, but eight hours ago, all was well. And I still think all is well um, with him so guys in the comment section again massive thank you to each and every one of you for being the ultimate 12th man thank you for sitting with me for the best part of over an hour um as we chopped up a few conversation there where the regular girls is concerned I'm going to be giving you guys more of the same over the next couple of days and also for the future as well so do keep a close eye on the channel I'm about to close off. I don't think you guys have anything else left to um, comment on in the comment section there. See, so you guys are going to look a bit quiet. So I'm going to be after, I'm going to end this live stream. Um, but do take care of yourselves if I don't see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I see you on um, Monday. And if this is the last time for the weekend, have a lovely weekend and also have a fabulous new week when it comes don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button until next time i'm john barnes and you're watching tarawa tv with crystal davis